Uh, the most vulnerable of these forms of hacking is social engineering. Social engineering is where you are getting people to do something for you. Is that getting them to let you in the door? Sure. That's called uh, tailgating. And that's where somebody who has a badge is, you're trying to get them to hold the door open for you, trying to be polite. Let me hold that door open for you into this secure facility. That's social engineering. There's lots and lots of different ways of social engineering. Uh, MGM and Caesars Palace got social engineered or their IT company did. And hey, I need my password reset. Can you help me reset my password? Well, somebody did. And that those situations are really hard to train against because you're trying to get people to go against their own instincts. Those instincts can be being nice, being considerate, being kind, or those instincts could be being a jerk to somebody. Uh, those instincts could be uh, not allowing someone to do something or allowing someone to do something and you're just trying to manipulate them. Hey, give me the CEO's personal cell phone. Hey, give me the information for the people who are there. Uh, Microsoft fired a bunch of engineers because engineers at Microsoft were resetting passwords on people's accounts to get paid so that ransomware, or in this case, cryptoware scammers, could go in and empty their crypto wallets using the email account that was on file, which would have to be a Microsoft account. So somebody had to incentivize those people to do that, unless that was their own idea. Um, so social engineering is hacking people getting people to do something. And this is the most commonly not included in a pen test. Pen tests typically don't include a social engineering component. They ask you to specifically don't target their people, even though their people are typically the most vulnerable and the least trained.